An Arab League observer has left Syria accusing the authorities of committing war crimes. Amateur video out of Syria appears to show Arab League observer Anwar Malik meeting with civilians. He says the monitoring mission to check on Syria's compliance with a peace plan is a, quote, farce. Malik told Al Jazeera that the Syrian army did not withdraw their tanks from the streets, but instead just hid them and redeployed after the observers left. He said snipers were everywhere shooting and civilians are being kidnapped and tortured. Malik said he spent 15 days in the rebellious city of Homs, where armed insurgents as well as protesters have been active. Video which could not be independently verified by Reuters shows a woman saying she has been displaced from her home for three months. She tells Malik she has been eating rotten bread for two weeks. The Arab League monitoring mission, now about 165 strong, began work on December 26. It is tasked with verifying Syria is complying with an agreement to halt a crackdown on 10 months of protests against President Bashar al-Assad, in which the United Nations says more than 5,000 people have been killed. <laughs> Amateur video obtained by Reuters out of home shows widespread destruction in parts of the city. Malik's resignation was the latest blow to a mission already criticized for inefficiency and whose members have come under attack this week from both Assad supporters and protesters. Syria has banned most independent media, making it difficult to verify conflicting accounts of events on the ground. There was no immediate comment on Malik's remarks from the Arab League, which decided on Sunday to keep the monitors in place, at least until they report again on their mission on January 19th. Under the Arab peace plan, Syrian authorities are supposed to stop attacking peaceful protests, withdraw troops and tanks from the streets, free detainees, and open a political dialogue. Assad told a rally Wednesday that, quote, we will win without a doubt. Deborah Luter back, Reuters.